How's it going guys, Jennings to Crypto here and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a complete setup guide on how to set up the Antminer S9 from start to finish from not mining to mining. I'm gonna to try to explain this as quick as possible so the video doesn't go as long as 20 minutes or so. Okay guys, so first things first, the things that we need. We obviously need an Antminer S9, we need an APW3++ or we need a power supply that has the same amount of wattages that can support the Antminer S9. Okay, we also need a LAN Ethernet cable. We're going to need a area to connect it, preferably something that has a surge protection, because you never know. And we're gonna need a cable that looks just like this one. Now you can find a cable just like this from your computer cables where you were to connect it from your power supply to DC, all right? That is everything you need as far as materials and you'll obviously need a router which I have set up right over there. That is my router. After that, you're going to want to find a nice place to put your Antminer S9 with your power supply, your APW3++, whichever one you choose. And it doesn't matter the order on how you connect these pins. You're going to want to put all these pins into this area right here. I'm going to show you guys that right now. Once you have all the cables connected to the hashing boards, you're gonna see one area right here. And that you're gonna wanna dedicate one to that specific area. That is your control area, your control board. You're gonna wanna give power to that. Once you have all of them connected, you're gonna wanna connect the Ethernet cable. Your Ethernet cable will be connected directly to your router. Now, once you have connected the APW3++ or whatever power supply you have onto your Antminer S9, and once you have connected the Ethernet cable onto that, you're going to want to connect your power cable onto the APW3++. Now, once I connect this cable, my Antminer S9 will automatically start up, and we're going to be able to see how long it takes for it to completely start up. As you can see, the Antminer S9 is now starting to turn on. We can see a green light, and as you can hear that, the Antminer S9 is starting. It takes roughly three to eight minutes for the Antminer to fully start up and show the normal flashing green light. Once it shows that, all you have to see is the red lights of the hashing boards, all three of them turned on and you'll be able to move on to the next step. Once you see the green light and all three hash board lights on, you're going to want to go to your router's IP address. It could be 192.168.0.1. It could be 192.168.0.0. It could be 10.0.0.1. It could be any of those things. You're going to want to do a Google search to find what your router IP address is. And once you find it, you're going to want to put it into the URL address on the top. And once you do that, you'll be accessing a router page. Once you get to the router page, you're going to want to go where it says attach devices or anywhere where it shows the devices currently shown from your router. Now, once you do that, you're going to look for Ant Miner. As you guys can see, I see Ant Miner right here, and you're gonna see an IP address. This IP address is your designated IP address for your specific Ant Miner S9 connected to your router. Now, once you do that, you're gonna to want to grab, copy, and paste your IP address, and you're gonna to want to put it up in the URL address. What I mean by URL address is where you type google.com, where you type youtube.com, and so on and so forth. Once you do that, I'm going to do it really quickly right now. So I'm going to grab the IP address. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. You'll be taken to a place like this. When it asks you for a username and password, it is simply root and root. The username and password is the same root for every app miner that you have. Now, once you are accessing this page, you can definitely see that everything is working and everything's going great. You could check the miner status page right here and you'll be able to see that your miner is mining and it shows right over here the gigahash that it is mining currently. 
Now, right now, at this moment, you are not mining. You need to get a mining pool to be mining with. Now, it's very simple to do that. You go to this page right here, Miner Configuration. Once you go here, you're going to be seeing pool 1, pool 2, pool 3. The main one is pool 1. Your miner is going to want to mine on pool 1. Pool 2 and 3 is if your pool, your first pool is not working and you need a second pool as a backup. And if that were to be failing, then a third pool as a backup. Okay. For this video, we're going to be going to Bitcoin.com mining pool and we're going to be making an account there. So all you have to do is simply make an account and you'll be able to see this exact dashboard that I have right now. Now the rest is very, very simple. You're going to have your own username right here where it says start mining. You're going to want to copy that. And then we're going to want to go back to the ant miner page that we saw earlier in under minor configuration. And right here where it says worker, you're going to want to put the worker name there. Password, it does not matter. You could leave it just like how it is right now. I usually leave it exactly what I see there. The password does not matter whatsoever. Now the URL is the next thing we're going to have to put the information in right over here to the right where it says start mining. The, I like Bitcoin.com pool because they show you simply what you need to do right here. All right. You're going to want to copy this entire URL and paste it on to your URL section for your pool. Once you do that right over here in the bottom, right? You're going to click save and apply. Once you save and apply, your miner is going to try to reset with the new configurations and start mining onto the pool that you have decided to put immediately. It is that simple. And that is how you set up your miner from start to finish, from setup to pool setup, to how you get your IP, to every single thing in between, all the way to the end where you're going to start mining. All right, guys. I am going to wait until this dashboard shows that my miner is mining for you guys. As you guys can clearly see right over here where it says my workers, one has been activated, which means I am now starting to mine on to Bitcoin.com's pool. So that is how you guys mine with the Antminer S9. That is how you do from setup all the way to actually start mining. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do daily cryptocurrency videos, guys. So make sure you guys subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Take care.